This is the Jack Wolf Knives Vampire Jack. It is one of the models from the new run of Vampire Jacks. Uh, they come in several different carbon fibers and two different titanium models, one that's all blacked out with a contoured black uh, handles and a blackened S90V blade. In this uh, case, the titanium is blasted and jigged uh, and it has a really nice texture, uh, somewhat of a rough texture. I don't want to say rough, but, um, well, it's grippy. And that jimping there really adds uh, character and texture. And, uh, and then the blade here, S90V. Uh, the first run was M, uh, M390. This time around, it's S90V and hand rubbed, as you can see there. Just a beautiful job finishing this blade. And I'm already, already starting to get a little wear on the corners and stuff uh, from the supplied um, case. I love these leather slip cases. This one, you're starting to see the shape of that swell center. Uh, this is a swell center jack. Uh, it swells out in the center to accommodate uh, the pin slash screw that holds the uh, back uh, bar in and that allows you to have more space in the blade well for more of a blade like a bigger blade or for the blade that you want to hide snugly more snugly in that handle uh, so let me show this uh, next to the first run this in that beautiful purple purple storm carbon fiber i think it was called fat carbon i believe um so there are some differences uh, here. We'll put the, the new one on the bottom, old one on the top. So the, the first one uh, is um, M390 blade steel. And then here I have, uh, it's got a single flute, a smaller bolster with one, uh, with one groove in it. And uh, same thing with the tail bolster here. And here you have uh, uh, twin fluting there. And here you have triple fluting. And um, on the uh, titanium models, you see these screws on the outside. On uh, the other models, you don't because it hides underneath. Um, oh, the sharpening trail, much larger on this one, as you can see. And this already was a pretty generous and nice sharpening trail. Very thinly ground. I mean, this really... Yeah, both, both are very thinly ground. I don't know. It feels like this first one might be even more so uh, but i mean at that point you're just splitting hairs great walk and talk on this first one let's see about this one yeah this one is very very stout and uh it's funny because uh, both are full height um, hollow grinds so that that uh, hollow grind comes all the way up to the spine but on here, it's a little bit sharper on the first one. So it's a little bit easier to pinch open without the use of the nail neck. With the hand uh, finishing and the hand sanding, uh, some of that has been taken off. So it's not quite as sharp, even though it, it maintains the contours of the, of the uh, double bevels there, the double concave bevels. Dry hands, sorry about that. Well, you don't care, you're not. Uh, okay, so nice and thin. Uh, these are available at all of the purveyors. This is the uh, October uh, Vampire Jack, hence Vampire Jack. This is the October uh, 2023 Jack Wolf Knives release. Uh, something I've thought about this coffin-shaped uh, swell-centered jack is that it has a very dagger-like blade. Uh, there are a couple of other Jack Wolf knives uh, in spear point, but mostly we see um, straight edge worn cliffs and uh, sheep foot and then many um, clip points. Only a few spear points and uh, of the of the spear points, I think these are the most aggressive, the most um, dagger like, I guess. Here, let me show you. This is the low drag jack. A beautiful uh, sw um, teardrop shaped jack with this really nice fat spear point. I love the exaggerated belly on this and the exaggerated waist 
there, you really get uh, sort of a recurve action when you're pulling this through things because of the the uh, the way it pulls material into that triangle. Anyway, very, very nice spear point, but uh, very different. I like that this is different. And then you have uh, the canine jack. Um, oh, this, this one really won me over. This was the first spear point that he came out with. Uh, ben Belkin, that is, and I really loved it, not only because um, I was never a fan of the dog leg jack until I got this one in hand and really, um, really saw what the ergonomics of that handle were all about. And then this beautiful uh, big belly spear point he put on there with that really tall, broad, thinly ground hollow uh, M390 blade, uh, really uh, won me, especially considering I was never a big fan of spear points. Uh, but, but to me, the vampire is the most, uh, compelling spear point because it's the most like a spear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I love that swedge. This is the one. Uh, I love that swedge too. I, I am not sure now that I'm talking about it, whether the new carbon fiber versions uh, how many of them, if any, have this sort of uh, belt satin that I'm so fond of? That's such a nice machine satin. Or is it uh, hand? Are they all hand rubbed? That I am not sure of. Um, while I have out a couple of other Jack Wolf knives, let me show you uh, show you these uh, with some recent releases. This uh, this is the one that's available. Let's see. Here it is with the recent Pioneer Jack in Ultim. People have some funny things to say about that material. Uh, I like it. I'm not uh, I'm not running out and getting a whole Ultim collection on this particular knife. I like it. And uh, I think it, it works pretty well here. So that's, uh, these are all, almost all, except for the, the Gunslinger um, front flipper. They all fit in these cases. So even even if they're big knives, they fit in those cases, which is so cool. Here it is with the uh, Feel Good Jack. Love this Feel Good Jack. I believe I just saw a couple of these are available. I can't remember where though. Uh, but they uh, uh, Jack Wolf Knives has really expanded their capacity for making knives and also for sort of distributing them. So. You can find them in a lot of places. This this is the beautiful second run of the um, laid back jack, sway back. Also with a hand rub blade, also thinly hollow ground, beautiful. And this time with another unique handle scale um, material. And this is rosewood. And uh, it's so nice to see on a jack wolf knife. I uh, have always secretly wanted some natural materials on these but from the start uh, was pretty sure ben was never going to do that because he pretty much said so but i guess it all worked out with the rosewood rosewood uh, does a lot of international travel as it appears on guitars quite a bit so uh, maybe that assuaged some of his uh, misgivings about natural materials on knives made in other countries and then shipping to different humidities and i'm going to show uh, show this off with one last uh, Jack Wolf that is pretty much unrelated in terms of type, uh, but I just dyed the micarta scales and I think it looks cool, so I wanna show it off. And that is with the Benny's Clip. Uh, ben Belkin's version of the Lanny's Clip, a famous Tony Bowes design. And uh, this one had a um, canvas, black canvas micarta similar to this, that just would not, this is green, but it just would not um, take on oil. It would not stay a nice color. So I decided uh, to take, well, to dye it maroon. And I love the way it looks. You know, I love maroon handled knives. And this was the perfect candidate for that treatment. So uh, this is a pretty big knife and a little bit bigger as we can see uh, than the Vampire Jack. So, okay, for Halloween, go get yourself a Vampire Jack. Uh, they're at many, <laughs> that's nice, really nice pull, walk and talk. Wow, I, I haven't done this enough here. Really. Okay, so the way I do it is like this. 
so I have it in my right hand. But if I'm just fidgeting, I do it the other way around. Yeah, very nice spring, very nice walk and talk and uh, action on this. And uh, something I learned from Austin Jackson of C. Reisner Cutlery and Traditional Pocket Knives, he does this in all of his videos. He brings it to just about where it's about to pop and then he pushes it with the thumb. That is not to just look cool. That is so you can see what the action really is uh, without having your hands on it when you pull it open. So you can really see how it opens up. If you just take it to just about to open and then push it. And uh, yeah, it's no surprise. Jack Wolf knives have amazing action, amazing walk and talk and pull, etc. I would put this at an eight, I guess, a handy eight. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's all arbitrary. Uh, I'd put this at a 47 out of 63. And uh, as a knife, I would put this at a 9.89 out of 10. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, Ben Belkin, for this beautiful, beautiful knife. All right. Take care.